Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper for Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues with our in-depth look at the NWCA All-Star Classic today. 133 pounds. One half is Eric Montoya from Nebraska. He joins us now in the Nike hot seat. Eric, welcome, and how are you? Doing well. How about yourself? Good, man. I appreciate you taking the time. I know that this is a... For a lot of guys, it's an honor, but there's some additional pressure put on your shoulders to to accept a another bout, if you will, added to the Big Ten schedule and the post schedule as well. But talk to us about how you were notified uh, about the opportunity to wrestle in the All Star Classic. I I wanted it. I mean, I, I knew I knew that you know there was a couple guys that would probably get get the invitation ahead of me, <clears throat> and but I, I kind of figured you know usually. I feel like, you know, more often than not, the, the guys who are at the top kind of elect to stay out of it for whatever reason. But, you know, I, I, I kind of made it clear. I, I, I tweeted at them a couple times uh, a while back saying, you know, I, w- I wanted to wrestle in it. And and um, I think I think they, you know, Zane was already uh, was already in it and they were, you know, looking for another guy. And so they asked me and I'm like, yeah, and I, t- I told you guys I wanted to wrestle. So. So that's pretty much how it happened. They sent my coach coaches an email, and then they asked me, and I was like, "Yeah, yeah, let's go." go. Well, it, it yeah. really makes sense. Your your opponent, uh, Richards, finished fourth at the NCAA's. You finished fifth after coming in as a number seven seed. You wrestled above your seed, which is always good. But Mike Moyer of the NWCA has said that the, these two guys have the opportunity to be the match of the night, and I truly believe that as well because the way you guys go at it and and you know, you look at uh, uh, these two Big Ten programs of, of Nebraska and Illinois. These are some uh, legendary programs with legendary uh, level athletes, and you're one of those guys. You didn't start at Nebraska. You started at Campbell University, and opting to to transfer, uh, you left in what 2013 or 2014? Yeah. Okay. No, 20, 2013. At that time, you were 125 pounds. You're going this year at 133. Are you comfortable at 133? Oh, yeah. I feel, feel great, man. I've been doing it for three. This is my fourth year doing 33s, and I feel uh, I feel the best I've ever been. So, Let's talk a little bit about that year that was. 29 and 10 is how it how it ended for you. What improvements or what changes have you made in, in the practice and workouts during the summer? I mean, uh, I, I feel like I've gotten just, I, you know, you li- you live and you learn, you wrestle and you learn, compete and you learn. It's 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 just experience, and uh, you know, I'm I, I'm I'm I got a good room, I got a good room, got good partners, and so I think I'm just um, I'm just I, I'm just pushing myself to a higher level. I don't know if I'd necessarily say like, oh, I got better at this or this or or whatever, you know. Um, uh, I, I just feel like I'm I'm just a a tougher wrestler. Uh I I, I think maybe um just my position I guess if you if you want to talk about something technical, I think uh maybe in the past I was a little bit like s- scared at the beginning of matches because guys would come out and they try to you know, they try to come out and push you around right away and get get a good lead and then they just try to hang out and, and just try to run away the rest of the time. So I've been uh I try to focus on on um shutting people down right away and like really putting a high pace on people so so that that you know I don't have to play catch up every single time or or uh or you know give up two or two takedowns in the first period and then you know let let that play a factor so I think I think just position of course I think using my hands and moving my feet that's been what I've been trying to focus on a lot lately and uh I think you know I've always been tough on top but um, I think I think this year, I'll not not think I, I know I'm I'm gonna get turns on on the best guys. That that's a that's a big thing too. So um, it's huge, actually. And you know what's cool is when it seems like you perform better in front of a large crowd, and that's what their expectations are at the Wolstein Center in Cleveland, Ohio. And and is that true, or is that something maybe I'm I'm missing? It, it seems that you wrestle better in front of a large group of people. Uh, maybe, I don't know. I, I think for me, it's more, the more times I see you, the, the worse it's going to be for you kind of thing. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So I don't know. I think it just kind of happens that way. You know, I lose the guys a couple times or maybe once, and then I just start chipping away. And then, and then you see me and they got to see me at the national tournament. And it's like, 
it's just like, all right, I'm, I'm you beat me last couple of times, but I, I, I got your number now. So it could be that. It also could be, um, uh, just the, you know, I get, uh, maybe I do get a little bit energized when there's a bigger crowd. I feel, I feel like, uh, you know, I feel like it gives me, it gives me energy and doesn't, I don't, I don't feel like the, the pressure weighs down on me, I guess, you know, and, you know, yeah. there, I know something about you, and, and some may know this, others may not, but you have a great appreciation for mixed martial arts as well. And uh, Carlos Condit is one of those guys. You're a New Mexico kid, man. I mean, this, this seems to be a natural uh, for you to follow in uh, the footsteps of guys like that. Does that make sense to you? Oh, yeah. Uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. So where I was born and raised, we've got the best gym in the world, about – five, seven minutes from my house. Wow. So, I mean, you know, it's just, it's part of the culture there. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's something that I've been, you know, I've been watching mixed martial arts since I was probably like 10, 11, back when they had pride and, and when the UFC was still coming, you know, I mean, it's still growing, but it was like just starting to really grow. And so, you know, it, for being from where I'm from, it's just, you know, you got fights, especially in the summer, you got fights, local fights every weekend. And like, it's just something that's always been a big, a big interest of mine. And, uh, and that's what, that's what I want to do when I'm done. So, so yeah, I mean, it, it means a lot. And, uh, and I hope, I hope that I could, you know, after this wrestling career ends and I can go on and, and, and do great big things, I guess. You are, uh, the current generation of Husker wrestlers that will be, uh, entered into the record books at the All-Star Classic. You follow in the footsteps of James Green, who appeared at 157 pounds, and Robert Kokish at 174. And this time, it's the Wolstein Center. It's Cleveland State University. This one, you're looking to make your own. Matches start at 6 o'clock, main event about 7 o'clock, but uh, tickets are affordable. And there's a lot of folks in Ohio that are going to be gravitating toward Cleveland and Cleveland State. $15 GA tickets, $100 preferred seating, social uh, prior to, by the way. Group options are available. Where can you get the tickets? Go allstarclassic.com or the Wolstein Center box office. Give them a call at 844-407-2279. Tickets also available at the Northeast Ohio Discount Drug Marts. Now, here's your opportunity to go one-on-one -on -one with the fans out there, and I want you to send out your best invitation to watch you wrestle at the uh, All-Star Classic. What do you want to tell the fans? Come out, get your tickets. Uh, it's going to be a great show. I'm going to put on a show. It's going to be bloodbath, fight, scrap, war, whatever you want to call it, and um, it's going to be well worth your time and your money. So I'm, I literally, I'm just getting goosebumps here, saying these two pictures. You, Zane Richards, Illinois, Nebraska, presented by the Brewer Garrett Company. It's the NWCA All Star Classic, hosted by the Wrestlers and Business Network. We appreciate you taking the time, Eric. This uh, this year looks to be that kind of a year for you, and I know that Mark Manning and company is counting on you to put some big points up on the board throughout the season. Are you excited for the season to kick off? Yeah, I mean, I wish I wish the national tournament was next week. I'm ready to go. <laughs> that would mean if the national tournament was next week, that would mean we missed the entire season. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, hey, there's only one one thing that counts. So, Do you get to roll around with Jordan Burroughs much? No, no, no. I mean, he, he's a little bit bigger bigger than me, but, you know, I, I pick his brain when I can. And uh, But, I mean, I, a lot of people forget that, you know, we got, like for little guys, we got um, – you know, a lot of people talk about Coach Snyder and Coach Manning, great coaches, but a lot of people forget about Jason Powell. You know, he's national champ, three-time All-American. Uh, he's one of those guys that, you know, kind of stays out of the spotlight a little bit. But, yeah. man, I mean, you know, that guy's a, that guy's a genius. So. Amazing. But no, I, yeah. I like the fact that you brought him up because uh, uh, many times it's always the head coach or the assistant head or the associate head coach that gets all the, all the glory. But um, – we, we sometimes forget that it's those guys are strong because they have a great staff to lean on. And uh, those guys are the ones that are the future head coaches of programs across the country. We appreciate you taking the time today, Eric. Uh, we're looking forward to seeing you in Cleveland. And uh, best to everybody on the squad at Nebraska. Thank you. I appreciate it.
For all of us at Takedown, I'm Scott Casper. Another great inside look at the NWCA All-Star Classic. We'll see each and every one of you in Cleveland.